And today, for video tech reviews, we have a brief review of a Microsoft client for Facebook called Silverlight 4 Beta Client for Facebook. And here it is. I know it's a rather long-winded name, but it is just a beta, and I can't imagine they'll keep calling that that when it's actually released. But here it is. Here you have your friend update. Here are some of the pictures from your friend such as if we click this it opens up and you can fit the screen to enlarge it a bit save it or go to the Albert photo album you can click here to go back to the main page here you'd have your location to see friend updates from your area your friends list is there to the left as well status updates photos recently posted photos and links here would be your college or wherever you go would be listed here and you see updates from people from your college that you have on your friends list, pages and video. If you click on a video it does open up on its own embedded player inside the client. This uh, Facebook client does actually use Silverlight by Microsoft so it will work on both Windows and Mac it runs off your desktop instead of in a browser so you can have it open and minimized and keep checking without losing your pages or losing uh, loads of tabs and things like that here you can hit up the top people to get to your friends list and your albums and your latest info and the things you post on your wall and your info there to view your own profile Photos, you go uh, there and you can see all your friends' photo albums. Events, to see any events. And of course, your inbox, and you can hit check mail, new message, which opens up at two. You type your friend's name there, subject message, submit or cancel. If we go back here, you might be thinking, well, you can only view Facebook, you can't actually do anything with it except for. Um, send a message in your inbox. Well, I thought that at first as well, but if you look here, quite subtly it mentions what's on your mind. If you just click that, it'll pop down. There you can type your status update. You can even click add URL and type a URL to attach with it, such as you may be mentioning something on YouTube. You can paste your YouTube link there. You can hit close if you don't want to add a link. Same with photo, you click that. And you now upload, take a photo with via webcam or create a new album. You can hit share then once you've done that. Or hit close if you change your mind. You can also view it in the default uh, full feed, which is how it looks now, or grid view, like this. Or photo feed, which shows your friends' photos in a sort of photo war type thing and then you can click one to view it again that gets you the same view where you can save, fit to screen or view the album and click home to get back and then hit this X if you want to close that view and go back to something like full feed it's certainly a very good start perhaps not perfect yet but it's a good start considering this is only a beta the thing I don't like very much which is just my personal preference is the color theme it's very very dark and boring so it'd be nice if they either added a lighter version maybe in the Facebook colors of blue and white or added themes maybe not themes where people can create their own and all that but maybe at least have several pre-made themes to choose from such as light or dark or medium that sort of thing because it is very dark at the moment Basically, that's just a basic review of what you get from Microsoft's new Silverlight client for Facebook. I can see I'm also doing a Twitter one soon if this goes well. It, there are other programs like this, but this is the most customised. Most are just basically a desktop client that you open up and it just is kind of like its own browser and opens a Facebook page. This is actually a completely made interface for Facebook in this client. You can view your about box here and as you can see they quote version 1.0 which is kind of odd considering it's a beta. 
So pretty good so far. The main things I need to do is, like I say, perhaps add a couple of color options for people who don't like it so dark and fix the name because that is too long and hard to remember. Microsoft Silverlight for beta client for Facebook. You can also hear on the about box send any feedback you might want to give. I will include a link in the description along with this video where you can download it. You also need to download Silverlight 4 to run it, which it's probably recommended you should have it anyway, as a lot of programs are made with Silverlight now and more and more over time, and it is a free download, just like a Flash plugin. So I'll include it in the description, and uh, it's definitely worth checking out. So this has been a review for VideotechReviews.com. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and we hope you enjoyed the video.